Hi, I'm Susan. Today I'm participating in the crossword collage hosted by Barbie of Nellie and Ruth Designs. And this is a weekly thing where I think, believe we're on week 10. Nope, we're on week 9. And all we have to do is have a crossword puzzle and you can print it online and or you can buy a book. I got this book and I just pull out a page and trim it down. Uh, Barbie uses a book, uh, a nice ring bound crossword book and she covers one side with paper so that it's a writing part and then she uses the crossword, which is just a crossword, on the other side. But the only pr prompts that's required is the crossword and writing something in the in the little spaces, you know, what our little phrase or what we want to say. So I've got the crossword and I've got this beautiful lady. I love this image. This came from um, Christie's Printables Facebook group, and I just I love I love what she does. And I've got her. And he came from from Christie's Printables as well. And ain't he pretty? <laughs> so I'm going to use these two this week. And then I've just got a few bits and bobs to go along with it. We'll just kind of play around with this and see what we get. I've already inked these pieces, so we're good to go. So I hope everybody's doing great. Um, I highly recommend you go check out Barbie's channel. It is so much fun. She is so talented and she is so funny. I love, I love going by and visiting with her. And let's see. I kind of want him looking towards her in a way because I put, he thinks of her. And I'm kind of thinking that they're separated for whatever reason at this time. So I'm going to add in a little picture frame behind her and maybe a little flower in that frame. I think I'm going to add in a clock to represent time. And I've got these flowers that I think I'm going to add in just because they're pretty. And the letters that they write to one another. So I've got these faux stamps. And these stamps came from Tina Shabby Dabby Doo Da. And I believe this did. This one did not. Um, these are fussy cuts. And I'm sorry, I cannot think of who I got these from. But I got them on Etsy. But they're, um, I don't know if it's Junk Journal Junction, something like that. But I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. It's so hard to keep everything straight, especially since I fussy cut them. Anyway, we've got this. Let's see how we want to do that. I've got this pocket watch. I kind of want to put it there. Maybe. That. I'm just not sure. Well, I'm filming this on Saturday, and today is my oldest son's 29th birthday. I don't know how he caught up with me in age, but he did. I mean, I was, I believe, 27 when I had him, and now here he is, and passed, then caught up with me. Anyway, I think I'm going to swap this out for the, I don't know, which one do I like better? I kind of like, I guess I like that one better. may not need this one. I don't know, something just don't quite look right about it. I don't know what. But I hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing fine. I was dusting this morning and I saw my 
oldest size baby picture. You know, the ones you get at the hospital. And I just kind of, kind of got my heart hurting a little bit. 29 years ago. And I don't know where the time went. Maybe this one's just a little bit smaller. I think, I think that one's a little bit more pleasing. I think the hand gets lost in the... I like that. And we just may leave this one out. So I kind of kind of like how that, that looks. But yeah, I just... I don't know where the time went. You think you got all the time in the world and you don't. So it's just... Something else, I tell you. Alrighty, let's see. I think I'm just going to tack these together so that I know where they are supposed to be. And of course my glue wasn't going to work. I don't know why this happens. Sometimes it stops up, sometimes it flows perfectly, and sometimes I jam my finger trying to do that. Let's see here. There we go. And I have looked for stainless steel so that I don't get that rusty look, but I haven't been able to find any. Okay. Add this one here. I like to do this little gluing way of... Um, tacking things together just so that you can kind of keep track of where everything is and it kind of holds it together. At least until you can get the rest of your glue and stuff on. I haven't had much problem with this glue, but today it wants to be hard to get along with. Move this over, get it down on the crossword. I don't want to cover up my words. Let's see, I need to get that down. I find this is the easiest way to do it though, just to Dab a little on everything to kind of hold it together until you can flip it over. And that way you don't lose sight of where everything is supposed to go. And I believe I've got everything. And now I can just kind of... Oop, I didn't get the... That'll be easy enough to fix, though. And now I'll just glue everything else down. If my glue will work. And my husband and my oldest son are on vacation next week. They're excited. We're not going anywhere, although we will go to Tupelo, which is about an hour away from us. The birthplace of Elvis Presley. I won't break out in song. Don't worry. This is getting very frustrating. Sorry, I'm having a hard time talking this morning. I felt like I was doing a little bit better, and I guess that's what happens. You kind of get, I think you got it whipped, and you don't. Because it's hard for, it's always been hard for me to talk and do stuff and I've been trying really hard and people seem to enjoy the um being the person being personable with um talking and crafting at the same time get to know the person better and I understand I like I like that as well some people just like a quick video 
and I'm not saying I'm going to quit doing any of the, just the videos with the music, but um, people seem to enjoy the chatter. And I want to give y'all what y'all want to see. The best of my ability, anyway. At least you, you kind of get my thought process, as chaotic as it may be. But um, I do enjoy this collage. I, this one is fun just because there's no pressure of, I enjoy the Marguerite Miller, but you know, sometimes she, those prompts are kind of tough. And this way, you know, you kind of can do whatever you want. And I just, I love these Victorian people or vintage people. I don't know if they're Victorian, Edwardian, or what they are, but I know I like them. There we go. And now I can just pop that on there. Maybe. Yeah, I like that better. That'll be easy enough to figure out. What are some of y'all's favorite types of um, collages? Do you like the Victorian people? Do you like the wacky? I like some of the I like some of the wacky too. I love the surreal. Um, I love watching it. I'm going to try that out one day. And um, I enjoy um, just. I do enjoy the, the Marguerite Miller because it's sometimes it's a lot of fun to try to bring everything together. You know, you have all those different prompts and some of the things just don't seem like they go together. But then somehow it works. And it's fun to try to do that. Some, some of them are a lot harder to do than others. And I just... I just kind of put stuff down to where I like it. You know, I'm not very good at the um, trying to figure out the artistic way of doing things. I just put it down the way I like it. Okay, and I am going to go around must have been all just a little bit to make that pop from the background, especially on the crossword puzzle part. He thinks of her. You can just imagine him daydreaming about his love. I guess you can tell all those romance novels I read as a kid. Every now and then I'll pull out one, but mostly I'm a murder mystery. I don't know what that says about me. But I'm kind of more of the murder mystery. Although I did love Outlander. I've been read I've read all of those. And they are good. I <laughs> can't help but think of um, back in the 80s with Fabio on all the, like, the Johanna Lindsay books and stuff. He was in all those romance novels. Now they don't necessarily have those men, you know, the big men with the flowing hair, but it was something back in the 80s. It set this teenage girl's heart a tingle back then. Now I just, I like cozy mysteries and I like hardcore mysteries. I love, um, one of my favorite writers here lately has been, um, Jana DeLeon. And she has her book's free on Kindle if you have a Kindle and it's Louisiana Longshot and it's funny it's got these old ladies in there and I laugh through those series I haven't read all of them because you know sometimes I just can't afford to to, to buy them although they're, they're relatively inexpensive compared to others and but I like it when I can catch them on sale and but she also had a series, um, I think it's called Malevolent, where um, it was serious, and it was really good. But it was one of those hardcore, disturbing 
kind of drama type mysteries and it was really good though I mean it was one of those you just couldn't put down but I love to read although I haven't read I don't read as much as I used to because I don't have time it's <laughs> trying to keep up with videos of all the people that I like to watch and um, besides the you know filming and I have a cooking channel as well so I'm filming that and editing and stuff and so it makes it a little hard sometimes to um, get to read as much as I would like because by that time by the time I get to read I'm so tired that I get sleepy husband and I are almost finished with Justified. That's a series we've been watching on Netflix. The stories are great. I like that they don't make Southern folks just seem like ignorant. Some of them are, but that's true life. You know, some Southern folks, some everybody folks are ignorant. But it's not just because you're Southern thing. They want to tend to make all Southern people stupid. And racist and stuff and I hate that because that's not the way it is but um the language in that those shows are awful I, if I could do anything I wish I could block that out I hate it especially when they take the Lord's name in vain but I just um the plot line is so good I, I love the plot line of it but we, I think we've got only three more episodes and we'll be finished with the series. And it's just one of those shows you just can't wait to watch the other one. And that's one of the shows that my husband and I, we watch together. Our boys, they don't care about stuff like that. And I'm kind of glad because of the language. You know, you, <laughs> I feel guilty about watching it myself because of the language. But you get hooked. But I'm um, talking about books. I also like the um, Janet Ivanovich. You know, I love all of the, her books with the um, the numbers. You know, one for the money, two for the dough. All of those, they're good. She makes me laugh too. I like books that make me laugh. Let's see here. I'll get my water pen. I find my favorite one. Nope. That's not it. Oh, I see it. We have our favorites, don't we? I'm trying to think what else I like. <laughs> and I don't I don't mind. I'm not I like I like young adult books as well and children's books. I loved, I read all the Harry Potters multiple times. Those are some of like the friends you go back and you visit. And the Anna Green Gables I read multiple times. I love those. And, um, you know, it's like you have to go read them about once a year, go back and visit your friends. And my mom, she, she loved those Harlequin romance books. And I have a couple of those from back when I was a kid. First started reading them that I liked that I'll go back and read every so often. It's been a long time since I've done that. But um, I'm trying to think what else. When my boys were little, I used to help and sub at the library, at the school library where my sons went to school. And um, usually it was for the librarian. And Miss James, she was such a nice lady. And I would um, send by Dylan, my oldest, to books that I wanted to read. Because, you know, it was the children's, the elementary library. But, like I said, you know, there were some very good books. That's where I read, um, oh, what was the name? It was, they made a movie out of it. It was like a Cinderella where she, um couldn't die or she couldn't grow I can't remember 
but I read that from there before it ever became a movie. And I used to read some of the books that my son liked. You know, my oldest son read more than my youngest son. My family always read. You know, my mama was a reader. My daddy was a reader. My daddy liked westerns. And, um, and my daddy's mom and daddy were readers. Now my mama's mama wasn't. And, um, but I just never dawned on me that my, my boys would not be readers. Because that is just part, you know, of who I am. And they just don't care for it so much. I guess it's all that, um, games and stuff that they play. I don't know. It's sad. I feel like they've been sad out a lot. But what can you do? I tried. I read to them when they were little. Like I said, my oldest son was more. He, he used to like the Ramona books when he was in elementary. The Beezus and all of those. Captain Underpants. He liked those. He read a good many of the. Oh, um, I'm sorry, I can't even remember the what they were, but they made a movie out of it too with Jim Carrey. It was very weird, horrible man. Can't remember. I read a few of those, but I just didn't care for them. But yeah, I grew up, I was reading Nancy Drew. So I've always been partial to mysteries. And I used to read, you know, as I got to be a teenager, I read a lot of the Agatha Christie. I love those. I like a book that you get so involved in, you don't want to put it down. with it. I think I am going to add my splatters this time. And I'm going to ink the edge up. Like I said, I already inked up my thing, items. I didn't want y'all to have to sit through all that. But I forgot to ink up the edge of my paper. Not wet it necessarily, but just kind of get him to pop a little bit from the background here. He sure is pretty. All right. My watercolors here. And I'll start with the gold since this is my lighter color. And I'll just take my water spritzer and I'll just spritz right there. I tend to go for the gold and the black. Oh, let me get some more water here. All right. I really enjoy this pad, although. I think the colors are pretty. I don't use these as much. I like them. All right, I'm just going to wipe that off. And I'm going to spray the black. I just, I've gotten to where it's hard for me to not do splatters. Although I've been trying to make myself not get just so. Now it looks black, but it'll kind of dry more. It's got a glitter, sort of a glitter in it, and it'll kind of dry and be more of a gray type. All right. 
He's even got a little gold on him. As to she, I probably should cover them, but I don't mind the gold on them. I'd rather not have the black on them. So I will wash that brush out in a minute. And I'm just going to, last thing, is I'm going to write it down. Oh, should have done it before I splattered, huh? We've got week nine. And this is, oh, be sure and check out the hashtag uh, 2023 CW challenge. That's crossword challenge. And, um, oh, I'm sorry. It's crossword collage. Let's see. Oh, L, L. I don't know why I had that wrong. Crossword collage. And it's by Nellie and Ruth Designs. And my, the date is 8-5-23. Dylan's birthday, and then I'll sign it. Hate I messed that up. I will just kind of darken everything else up to make it seem like that's what I wanted to do, huh? It's been that kind of a week where it seems like I struggle with everything I've been trying to do. Billy and Ruth designs. Like I said, she does she does some surreal and it's fun. I love what she does. And she, of course, she does regular collages as well, but she has some surreal. So I highly recommend you go check out Barbie's channel. All right. That's a little better. It's messy, but. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I do appreciate y'all, and I appreciate y'all y'all support and the way y'all have just really been so kind to me. And if there's anything that I can do that you think I or you think I should do to make things more enjoyable for you, just let me know in the comments. So y'all take care, have a great week, and until next time, bye y'all.